Welcome to the Miscellaneous Podcast. I am your host, Polly. Pain has a face. Allow me to show it to you. Today we have A.A. Ron. They're coming to get you, Barbara. A little bit of Norco Killer. I see dead people. Breezy. The dead have been rising from the grave. And B. Dism. When there's no more room in hell, the dead will walk here. With a title that says it all. Won't you come in? If you dare. <laughs> Everybody in the room? Yep. And we're Fun. live on Twitch TV as well. So everybody out in Twitch TV land, hi, if you're listening. Hi, everybody. Hey. Hey. <laughs> yeah. Hey, girls. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I feel dirty. Hi. Oh, Hey. <laughs> that just made it worse. <laughs> oh, that's a that is adorable. <laughs> so, um, I don't get why you were confused there, Aaron. It's Not a what, little clip. No, I was confused. I didn't realize you were playing uh, Leroy's uh, EVP thing. Oh, I, didn't I already see did that. Yeah, I know, but uh, on Discord, when I'm going into the notes, it it shows me an untitled MP3, and yeah. it, it I got to play it in movie, and it's just Leroy. Yeah, so um, no, it's I Leroy's was EVP, have- but uh, the next one down should be um, the little clip from the which is should say it. Yeah, I got nothing. A raw yeah. clip from the Halloween slasher story three. Yeah, that's what it says. That's not what it is. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, hey, man. I'm going to tell you what. Yeah, you were talking about all this activity going on. So you know what I was doing the past three nights. And mm-hmm. it, it, there was a lot of jacking off. Uh, His kid's present, apparently. Oh, <laughs> hey, man, that's not my fault. That, that's a parent's responsibility. Anyway. Damn. No, I'm sorry. I apologize, kid. So, uh you know, I sent you those videos of, of that K two meter going on. Yeah. Well, in the last three days, uh, I got to go through all my notes. I still got to go through Audacity. Um, I called a woman. Um, I asked if she was here, and it took a minute, and she said, "Yes, I'm here." I was Aww. like, "Oh shit!" Yeah, isn't that cute? That's was adorable. She, was she jacking off, or uh, she was probably watching? <laughs> you know, <laughs> she. Hey, man, she's probably a voyeur. Who knows? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But, I mean- yeah. But the creep, but the creepiest part is, so I religiously lock my door. So I, you know, you live in an apartment, and well, you live in a house. You lock your door when you leave. You lock your door when you get in the house. There have been three times in the past uh, twelve hours that my front door has unlocked itself and opened. It was open about a. F- well, I locked it to go to Schnucks, you know, get some <laughs> groceries and everything. I come mm-hmm. back, my door's open. Oh no! Yeah, and yeah, I'm watching a dog. Home. Yeah, well, I don't know. You know, and last night I was sitting at the Quick Trip because, uh, you know, those were police substations, right? Well, um, right across the street, there's a Freedman's uh, or Freedman's uh, Church, and they got a big graveyard. So I was waiting for a cop to show up, just say, hey, man, what's the deal? Like, can I go over there without getting, you know, messed with just to take a look around, you know? And then I realized that's probably a place of rest, and I probably don't want to wake yeah. some asshole up and disrespect him. But yeah. Mm. All right. Well, I posted um, the two videos. They'll be up in Discord, so everybody can take a look at those in their own leisure. So. Hey, quick question, Paul. Yeah. Okay, so we're doing the t- uh, the Sweet Sixteen in these movies. So uh, yes. you you mentioned Halloween. So are we picking just scary movies that you would watch? Because I mean, you look at all the Halloween movies that have the Halloween theme. The ones that keep getting watched, those are the classics. So I didn't know if you wanted to just do movies that scare the shit out of you. Yeah, you movies that scare the shit out of you, it's Halloween time. So uh, all, all I right. was asking is just movies that are not, like, when you turn on the TV, the not the ones you'd be seeing every, you know, 10 seconds. Right. That's all. Right. So, okay. so, gotcha. so, uh, so with, with, in saying that, can we technically call Gremlins a Christmas movie? 
Gremlins is a Christmas movie, by the way. <laughs> At least in my let's, mind. <laughs> let's let's just let's just settle this debate right now. Gremlins is a Christmas movie. Let's go down I the agree. line. Yes or no? Yes. Yes. Sure. Mogwai was a Christmas gift. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> so yeah. All right. So let's get to it. Um uh, the I don't know how to do, I'm gonna, I don't really know how I'm gonna do this. So I guess what I was gonna do is what I was thinking about doing before because I was hoping Travis and everybody was on, but he's not on. So um, we will do this the other way. So we'll just go down the line. So we'll start off with AA Ron. Which one do you have or not? <laughs> This is a great show already. Muted. All right, Brian, let's start off with you. I'm not going to be silent on this one. Oh, okay. I, mean, my, <laughs> uh, I will. Night- my voice will be heard. <laughs> yes. Nightmare on Elm Street. Classic. Okay. Does anybody else have that on their list? I do. You did? Yeah, sorry. I- no, no, you're fine. I was going to say this. You just scratch says. it off the list of your list as we go down, and I will find my damn pen. That's really helpful. There it is. I knew it was somewhere. And we'll start writing it down for the Sweet 16. So, Nightmare, right? The, to be clear, the first Nightmare on Elm Street. After that, the rest of them were just comedy to me. Yeah, that's true. All right, hey, Ron. Uh, six cents. Six cents. Okay. Breezy. All right, so I, mine's not like I picked like really not. I guess the mainstream movies. Um, so let's see. One of my favorite ones is a movie called Grave Encounters. Grave Encounters. What's it yeah, about? It's, all right, so this like uh, film crew. Goes into this uh, like psych- like abandoned psychiatric hospital, and um, to like try to film ghosts and shit like that. But uh, it, it's like the jump scares in it are pretty intense, but it's also like a mind fuck because like they try to like exit the building, but then like the exits turn into like stone walls, and like they keep it's it's insane. It's one of yeah, it's a, it's a great movie. All right, I, let's do it. That's fine. <laughs> I, <don't know. laughs> I thought we were going like obscure movies that like, yeah we that, were know, not, yeah not not that. really so yeah, i'm going obs- with boogeyman you guys remember that one yeah i hear you Negative. scream <laughs> <laughs> boogeyman fuck you it's on the list <laughs> all right back up the top <clears throat> Well, now we're going to be in order because A. Ron decided to come back on with his darkening bog. Hey, man. That's not necessary. All right. Go ahead. Um, I'm going to say that movie Teeth. Teeth. Have you, it, oh, that's a good one. Yeah. It's a chick with teeth in her vagina. Isn't that weird? Yeah. Maybe, yeah. She can maybe. keep that one. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Good wholesome entertainment here. I love it. That's right. Be dism. If we're going obscure movies, uh, One Eyed Monster. Oh. Yeah, One Eyed Monster is a is a horror film about these people who go to this place to film a uh, adult movie, and they're terrorized by Ron Jeremy's detached penis. <laughs> 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 the, the things you find on HBO after eleven p.m. <laughs> Copy that. Breezy. All right. My next one is going to be uh, the movie Hush, recently on Netflix. It's about the uh, girl. She has, like, uh, bacterial meningitis and, like, loses her voice and hearing. Uh, and then she, like, moves out into the woods. To, like, she's a writer, and she moved out into the woods to, like, write her stories in, like, peace. But this guy is, like, uh, he's, like, a serial killer trying to break in the house, and she's, you know, deaf, can't hear anything. And so it's, like, Super suspenseful, like you, you see it all from her perspective. So like everything's quiet most of the time, and like she can't. Yeah, it's really cool. I, like I think that. I, 
Is that the one where uh, she's sitting on the couch on her laptop and the guy with the mask is just yep. standing behind it? Wow, that, yeah. that's a creep. I saw the trailer. I, no, I'm good. Go watch it. It's intense. I want to say Urban Legend. I like that one. It's a nice old 80, 90s one. one there. It's 90s before your time. <laughs> wow. <laughs> it talks about creepy urban, urban legends. I'm Googling it. You Google it? <laughs> All right, back up to the top. Oh, man. Um, I'm going to say Lost Boys. Yeah, that was on my list, too. Nice. You're eating maggots, Michael. Oh, I love some of the scenes. <laughs> it's his blood. Yeah, right, it's his blood. <laughs> Nanook. Oh, yeah. Nanook would own some face. It's awesome. All right, next down. So, uh, as a kid, uh, Monster Squad was <gasps> kind of scary to me. Yeah. Well, Good you know, my, one of my favorite scenes. Kick him in the nards. Kick him in the nards. <laughs> Wolfman doesn't have any nards. Just do it. <laughs> Wolfman's got nards. Wolfman. Oh, oh Norco said he had to. Uh, no worries, but he had he had an emergency. All right, all right. So, yes, Monster Squad. This is the shits. Okay, so next time, breezy. All right, my next one is uh, it follows. Oh, good one. one, yeah. Yeah, that one is crazy. Remind us what it is. All right, okay. so it's um a girl uh I, I think she's like losing her virginity um to this like guy and it turn it's like a movie kind of like based on an STD, I think is like the overall uh I don't know how to describe it. Anyways, so the guy has sex with her and now um she has like people that are constantly following her. And if like they touch her, she dies, but it like she, they take shape of like random people in their lives. So she's like sitting in class and there's like an old lady, like walking across, um, like the school, like field, just like walking towards her, like slowly. Um, you know, she has to get out of there and, uh, it's just people are constantly following them. And the only way to get rid of the people following them is to have sex with somebody else. Hmm. And so she has to like, you know, have sex with somebody else and basically pass it on to them. Hence, like the STD thing. Um. Yeah, that's uh, exactly what I thought it was. <laughs> <laughs> no, I remember watching it a while ago, or it feels like a while ago, and the whole time I'm like, "This sucks." <laughs> <laughs> I love it. There was. It's not on my list, but there was this one I remember. Do you guys remember <clears throat> um, Buffy the Vampire Slayer, the movie, the girl who plays in it? Christy yeah. Swanson, sir. Yes. Do you remember there was like a there was a movie in the eighties she was in where she was a zombie where they like um she died and then they put a chip in her and then she was like going after like everybody who like was part of a killing her or something? No? No one? No, I'm not familiar. So, well if anybody sorry. knows the name of it, I'm trying to find it because it was it scared me when I was a kid. <laughs> so I gotta stand go. by stand by, I'll research it. Thank you. <laughs> you know, what? I I know this is not really, really there, I guess, but um, I gotta go with Blair Witch. And what I mean by not there is because a lot of people don't like it. But oh, that was it was on my list. Nice, because <laughs> I I liked it for the the nighttime scenes. So I'd always fast forward to get to the nighttime scenes. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well, no, when I when I watched it, you know. <laughs> Born in the 90s. Uh, uh, my mom actually convinced me <laughs> that it was a real documentary. And so me and my sister are watching this thinking it was real. No you know, I was pretty young. Way. And so it was even that much scarier. Yeah. So that's why oh, it's, it's on that's my list. awesome. No, that's actually what they did. Uh, they did a disinformation campaign. So all those people who watched in the first, you know, couple of weeks all thought it was real. When I, I saw it on opening day and there were people crying. I'm like, why are you crying? It's just. It's a fucking movie. Mm-hmm. Hey man, if you think it's real, it's... yeah. <laughs> hey, 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 Polly, were you talking about uh, that Christy Swanson movie? Were you talking about Flowers in the Attic? Mm, no, Flowers in the Attic is where, which is a good movie, 
uh, where her and her brothers were in, and were up in the attic, locked in there, and their their stepmother tried feeding them like poison cookies to kill them. Oh, you're thinking of Deadly Friend, then. Deadly Friend, that's it! Oh, that's it, dude. That's such a good movie. Man, that was 1986. (laughs) I'm old. All right, who's next? We uh, stop with Blair Witch. So we're back up to the top. We need four more, so... Uh, hey, hey, Ronnie, there. If not, we're going to continue down. Bueller. I- <laughs> Bueller. <laughs> All right, Brian. <laughs> Go. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was, um, it was, I can't remember the one movie. It's been spoofed so many times. It's one of those, one one of those movies filmed like Blair Witch, where these people probably filmed this movie on a budget of like a hundred grand, and they filmed it in like 48 hours. But it was a husband and wife. They move into somewhere, and they uh, the house is possessed, and things start <laughs> happening. Uh, but it's one of those ones that was shown through a lot of the security cameras in the house. Oh, you mean paranormal activity? Yeah. Yep. Yes. Yeah, I like the. Those are my guilty pleasures when it hits uh, fall. Hey, Paul, yeah. you there? I'm back, man. I keep getting kicked off this thing. I, I, I hear you guys. I don't know what okay. that was going on. What's I blame, I blame Dr. Lunch. All <laughs> right. So it was, <laughs> <laughs> no, it was between Dude, pets. No, and, and you're right because a lot of people have uh, had some issues now. So thank you, Dr. Lynch. Yeah. Son of a bee. All right. <laughs> <laughs> so it was between Pet Cemetery and uh, American Werewolf in London, but I went with American oh, Werewolf in London. Two great ones. I love American Werewolf in London. Breezy, put that on your list too. That's a really good yeah, one. Yeah, I haven't seen it. Uh, oh, my God. That's amazing. Well, yeah, he's already seen his dead buddy walking around dying. And yeah, next thing you know, he's twice the size and eating people. It's delicious. Fantastic. It was, and that was a great movie, and the special effects were awesome. Yeah, especially for that time. Oh, it was so yeah. good. All right. Uh, where are we on? Uh, oh, Breezy. Yep. Oh, next. Uh, all right. So I had uh, 28 days later. Not 28 nice. weeks later, 28 days Yeah, not later. the uh, rehab one. <laughs> yeah, that one was garbage. Yeah, 28 days later is just amazing. That's a really good the one. virus. What are you doing, A.A. Ron? You're so loud. I'm sorry. I'm not doing anything. You're like... (laughs) Jesus Christ. All right. Yeah, it sounded like it. All right. All right. I get the final say-so. So So I get the last one to put in there. Not final say-so. And you know what? I know it sounds weird, but I'm going Hellraiser. No? No one else? I can dig it. Nope. I'm gonna be honest. I haven't even seen. Did Hellraiser. A. Ron leave us again? <laughs> no. I mean, he got mad. Too. I didn't. <laughs> Jesus Christ! I didn't leave. <laughs> I'm waiting for everyone to stop talking. No, I didn't. I didn't like it. You didn't like it? No, not particularly. Oh, okay. So I'm sorry, man. No, no, you're fine. Everybody's opinion is is out here. <laughs> like, I just don't want to hurt your feelings. No, you're fine. Are we gonna like vote on the the you know the top ones? Yeah, so okay. so here's what we're going to do now. It's so makeshift because <laughs> what we're doing today, it's fine because I get to get back to editing for the show. So uh, here we go. Nightmare on Elm Street versus Six Sense. Six Sense. Six Sense. Nightmare on Elm Street. Ooh, Sorry, bro. You know what? We need a tiebreaker. Usually we have... Cupcake on. Where the hell is Cupcake? Man, this show is so just <laughs> right. Hey, nah, just flip a coin. Flip a coin. All right, here yep. we go. You ready? Yep. Be Dism. Pick a number between one through ten. Uh, seven. Okay. Nightmare on Elm Street moves on. Yay! Woohoo! Yay. <laughs> Grave Encounters versus Boogeyman. Got to go with Grave Encounters. Uh, I haven't seen either, so I'll just go with the uh, collective here and say Grave Encounters. Hell yeah. I concur. Haven't seen either. Okay, so I guess Grave I feel like on. Grave Encounters is right up A.A. Ron's level, though. He's all on the ghosts and stuff. You would like 
It's about like ghost hunting. Hmm. All right. Okay. Teeth versus one-eyed monster. One-eyed monster because, you know, it was just so great. And, well, that was, that would, you know what? That's excellent positioning there, Polly, because both movies are about, you know. Porn. Porn. Yeah, exactly. yeah, so. <laughs> <laughs> well, I gotta those, give it to you, though. Those two movies could actually go against each other on who would win on a fight. One-Eyed mm. Monster or Teeth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think, uh, I think yeah. Teeth, teeth, I think teeth is going to have a little uh, little lunch. <laughs> well, okay, so a little bit more background for those of you who hadn't seen it. These these people go to, like, Northern California to shoot a porn movie, and uh, Ron Jeremy's there, and he gets hit by, like, a shooting star or something, and he gets possessed by an alien who detaches his penis, and his penis just, like, fucks everything. And oh my they, God. <laughs> so so they so they they have these scenes where they're they're trying to get away from the penis and uh when as they're like climbing through a sewer or something you see all these rats with holes in the back of them <laughs> cuz the what penis the just, <laughs> hold yeah. on to penis you just keep thinking of the damn song yeah yeah so so the uh, the old uh the old porn star who's there like claims that she's Ron's never been able to resist her. Um, yeah. Stuff. So while trapped, when well, everybody gets away, she takes on the, the, the big penis and, and, uh, at the end of the movie, it's like, looks like it's snowing and they're like, Oh, it's snowing. You're like, no, that's not snow. Oh, <laughs> oh I'm going with one eyed monster. <laughs> yeah. One eyed monster. I mean, <laughs> so, so yeah, that would be one to go and watch. <laughs> I'm going to take a guess that Harvey Weinstein green with this. Oh my God. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Very nice. <laughs> Um, Hush versus it was probably legend. just being a CGI in there. <laughs> yeah, stunt cock. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hush versus American Legend or Urban Legend. I like Urban Legend. Yeah, me too. So that's two for that already. Mm-hmm. Urban Legend. Go watch Hush though, for real. <laughs> All right. Uh, Lost Boys. Oh, this is the battle over childhood. Lost Boys versus Monster Squad. Wow. Monster Squad, man. Monster Squad all the way. Yeah, Monster Squad was funny. I'm going to have to go Lost Boys. I haven't seen either, but I'm going to go with Lost Boys just because I've, I've heard of that one. I'll be the well, tiebreaker. We are tied. <laughs> so... Breezy, pick a number between one through three. One. Okay. Lost Boys moves on. Not what I wanted. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Breezy has officially killed my childhood. Jesus. <laughs> you see how like defeated I was? <laughs> so it sorry, follows boy. verse Blair Witch. Blair Witch all day. What? Breezy? I'm going to go with Blair Witch. Yeah, Blair Witch. All right. Well, I haven't seen It Follows, but Blair Witch, it was a hard watch, man. And it was kind of like trying to get notebooked in October. (laughs) (laughs) Damn. So so you got got to watch it if you want to get with her. So you you like just sit there for two hours just. (laughs) Yeah. Watching this garbage. So I always uh, love the parody they do where it shows like the knots from blowing up and stuff. Ugh. Yeah. <laughs> so let's just go ahead and go with Blair Witch because you know successful. I can admit some yeah. of those some of those nighttime scenes were a little bit scary. You know. They did Definitely. a good job, you know, for the practice. When they're inside the tent. Yeah, and they just start like, hitting the yeah. tent and everything. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Blair Witch moves on. Oh, here we go. Paranormal Activity versus American Werewolf in London. I'm going with London. American Werewolf. Yeah, American Werewolf was a better movie. American right. Werewolf. I'll agree with you guys. American. <laughs> <laughs> I really didn't like Paranormal Activity too much, to be honest. Really? Yeah, huh. it's kind of. <clears throat> 28 Days Later versus Hellraiser. 
28 days all the way. Yeah, 28 days. Zombies scared the shit out of me. And they were like vicious zombies. They were not like even your, zombies. It was a rage virus. Yeah, a rage moment. virus. Remember when like the crow had it too? That was crazy. Yeah, yeah. It's like bleeding from the eye. Yeah, a crow should have been on the list. <laughs> the crow. <laughs> so, what are we voting? I guess 28 days later. All right, 28 days moves on. Okay, so we have Nightmare on Elm Street. Nightmare on Elm Street. Are we down to the final four? Uh, One, two, three. Yep. All right. Play, cue the music. Dun, 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 dun. No. <laughs> if you listen to one of our older episodes when we did do the Sweet Sixteens, we did we did like a a little couple of them, and one of them was uh, I think toys. But I did that. I took uh, clips from all the NFL and and uh, I mean basketball. It was funny. All right, very nice. Nightmare on Elm Street versus Grave Encounters. Nightmare on Elm Street. Nightmare. Give us a nightmare. Give us a nightmare. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm doing the same thing. Urban legend versus the one-eyed monster. One-eyed monster. Yeah, I'm going with one-eyed monster for sure. <laughs> <laughs> no beats the pain <laughs> all the way. <laughs> Lost Boys versus Blair Witch. Ooh. Damn. Mm. <laughs> this, this is this is so hard. I need an adult. <laughs> uh, I'm going with Lost. I feel like you yeah. guys are going to go with Lost Boys just for the nostalgic of it. Yeah, yeah it's a cool Boys. classic. Like, they did a yeah. great job. And hey, you can eat maggots. Where else can Jerry you get O'Connell, that? Jerry O'Connell and River <laughs> Phoenix. Yeah. yeah, wait. No, that's Stand By. That's me. Stand By. Me. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and I, uh, I remember the day when we saw a dead body. <laughs> uh, so we agreed loss, right? Yeah, lost. Yeah. Okay. American Werewolf in London versus 28 Days. American Werewolf, you didn't even have to say the other one. Oh, man. This one's rough for me. I feel outnumbered here. Because I like them both equally. Yeah, let's go with American Werewolf. I'm still sticking with 28 days. All right. Here we go, Aaron. All right, sir. Pick a number between 1 and 50. Hmm. I'm only doing what the computer generates. It's not me. Okay, fine. Uh, 30. And which one were you going for again? Uh, I can't remember. Damn it. Oh, American (laughs) Werewolf. All right. 28 days, Musa. I mean, I could see 28 days. <laughs> I could see 28 days if you tacked on the other one with it. What was it, 26 days later? Don't even mention the sequel. No, no, no. <laughs> Standalone 28. Oh, okay. All right. The only bad but, thing about this is you see old boys junk in the very beginning. It's gross. Yeah. Not a big fan of the junk. No, hey, side note. You've seen Teen, you've seen Teen Wolf, right? Mm-hmm. Of course. Okay, so when they won the basketball game at the end and they're doing the credits, there's a guy in the bleachers pulls his dick out during the bleacher uh, during the scene where they're pulling like yeah, he's I've standing seen that. there. I yeah, got standing a, there. What? Yeah, I've seen that. I've seen, yeah, he undoes yeah. his zipper, pulls his junk well, like out. When everybody when everybody stands up to cheer. Right, they're yeah, all celebrating. Yeah, the guy's like stands up. The guy stands up, it's like in the back. And he has his he has his junk out. Yeah. Was this yeah. on purpose or was this like a disgruntled yeah. extra? Yeah, no, he did it on purpose. <laughs> yeah. No, I'm saying, did they write that in? Like, that's what they wanted to happen? Or was this... No, 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 no. no, no, no. <laughs> it's a pan shot because I remember that movie, but I don't remember the junk. Wow. That's crazy. Do you remember when uh, they saw on Nick at Night when they would play Freeze Company? For years, they had an episode where Jack sat down because, you know, he wore those short shorts. There was an episode they let run for years where his balls were hanging out of shorts. <laughs> <laughs> they had they had to edit his balls out. For years, no one noticed. Well, apparently people liked it. Well, that was the same thing with Twister. They said that, uh, what's his face? Um, there's a scene where he gets out of the van and his junk showing. And they had to edit it out. 
Yeah. Just yeah. leave it. It's art. Leave it. It's, art. <laughs> <laughs> it's a Picasso. <laughs> right. <laughs> All right. Um, a nightmare on Elm Street versus One Eyed Monster. Nightmare. Yeah, Nightmare on Elm Street. Well, uh, yeah, Fred, the- Freddy's gonna Freddy's gonna take this one. Yeah, this is where uh, the porn ends. <laughs> yeah. yeah, hit the brick wall there. <laughs> Isn't there a show like that? Porn ends or something like? Watch yeah, yeah, the it's porn on Netflix. People like, talk porn about stars the ends. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Like do they, do they, do they sit there and like reminisce? Uh, you remember the time I had it up my ass? Yeah, that was kind of fun, wasn't it? <laughs> I don't know what that movie. Oh, All that, right, that's well. Turn. Well, my parents haven't adjusted the parental controls on my Netflix yet. <laughs> I'm still watching Power Rangers. Oh my god, <laughs> Triceratops. <laughs> All right, 28 Days versus Lost Boys. Lost Boys. Did we? I thought we just did this one. Did we? No. I thought it was. No. What was it before? 28 Days versus what? Versus uh, American Werewolf in London. Oh, yeah, yeah, you're right. I'm still going with 28 Days. Hmm. Hmm. What was the other option besides 28 Days? The Lost Boys. Lost Boys. Wow, I hmm. I gotta go with Lost Boys. Lost Boys moves on. It's the battle of the eighties. It is yeah, I'm getting teamed up here. <laughs> Robert England versus Corey Haim. But <laughs> what about Corey Feldman? Uh, Corey Haim was also in a good scary movie, uh, Silver Bullet, and he's yeah, all with that was a good one too. Oh my yeah. god, I mean, yeah. I like that with the peacemaker. <laughs> right. It's a one. cheesy scene where he's beating him with it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he got beat by a kid in a wheelchair. <laughs> Dude, he took a firework to the eye. That was awesome. <laughs> when I was a kid, I wanted to be crippled. Wait, hold on. Don't please don't that. be offended by that. <laughs> Uh, here's your sign. Yeah, so, so, so at this ends. point, so, so, so at this point, at this point, um, in the show, I would say that before we go with the number one, um, you start playing like some violin music, and and and, and uh, here's what I'm going to say. On behalf of the cast of On the Air with Polly, we'd like to apologize with to anyone with physical disabilities. <laughs> Our comments were not meant in any way to harm anyone but are all done in jest. Furthermore, it's been a few weeks, and we'd like to take the opportunity to apologize to Gates McFadden oh and her God. family. <laughs> <laughs> and all of our Gates McFadden fans. Uh, we'd love to have you on the show, Gates. Please come on. We could talk some Star Trek stuff and, and uh, have a great time. Yeah, we'll while we ask yourself for the, while we do it. The, ask for an hour of your day. <laughs> and again, to, to anyone who uh, is suffering from a physical disability, we apologize from all of us. One love, one nation, <laughs> one heart. Thank you for being our. Uh... <laughs> I don't. I don't think we. I don't think we had to do that. But <laughs> <laughs> it, was only, it was only Polly who said it. We don't all need to apologize. <laughs> I appreciate it. However, this is going to be an unedited show. By the way. <laughs> <laughs> Spoilers. Well, of course, the uh, um, I, I claim dibs on the first in line at the unemployment line. So. <laughs> oh damn! <laughs> okay, the final. We're at the final. Finals? How would you say it? The final one. <laughs> Finale? I don't know. The last two? round. Last two. There, there can be only one. Yes. Uh, Let's do a high. Hand. There can be only one. Now I want to edit this. <laughs> Wait, did you say Juan or Juan? Oh, Juan. okay. You definitely said Juan. Okay, oh, Buddhism, we need another disclaimer. <laughs> here at the miscellaneous we, we here we here at the miscellaneous bot podcast on here with Polly. We'd like to apologize for the horrible, horrible translation of one to Juan. We meant no disrespect at all to anyone of Hispanic or Latin descent. Or anyone named one. You know, I know a lady I know a lady named <laughs> I know a lady one. named Seven, actually. Really? 
Oh, yeah, yeah, that's pretty. Yeah, cool. but I can. Yeah, but I can say that I have a Latino friend. Oh, oh okay, okay, okay. Now it's okay. getting into a, an area where I'm getting like, stop that. <laughs> okay, final two or whatever. Nightmare on Elm Street. Oh, this is the Battle of the '80s. Yep, Battle of the '80s. Nightmare on Elm Street versus the Lost Boys. See Nightmare how? on Elm Street, man. Freddy all the way, man. <laughs> Nightmare on Elm Street. Freddy Krueger versus um, the guy from Gilmore Girls. <laughs> <laughs> the dad. Man, I'm on, I'm on the fence with this. Kiefer Sutherland. Lost Boys. I gotta go with Lost Boys, too. Who was it? Uh, you guys both said Nightmare? Yep. Yep. Oh, all right. All of you guys have to vote. You ready? Yep. Pick a number between one through ten. Lucky Four. number seven. Lucky number seven. One. Fuck. Nightmare wins. There it is. Yes, sir. Oh, congratulations. <laughs> Hi, I'm Freddy, and this is for you. <laughs> you remember that? Yep. <laughs> you remember the song? Stay awake, One, don't sleep, two, cause you're gonna Freddy's coming meet for up you. with Freddy. Oh, wrong song. <laughs> no, I was thinking uh, One, one with two, Will Smith. Freddy's coming for you. Oh, Nightmare Three, on My Street. Better, better lock your, your door. doors. <laughs> Five, six, grab a crucifix. Seven, yeah. eight, better stay. Oh, what, am I the only one finishing this now? Yep. <laughs> We're just enjoying it. <laughs> Now there was the uh, now you remember that video they had of that rock band who went into uh, Freddy's house and like killed him with rock music. Oh my god! <laughs> it was on MTV. It was awesome. Yeah. Or the uh, up. or the uh, the Rick and Morty the Rick and Morty spoof that they did was hilarious. You know what? I have to sadly admit I finally got into Rick and Morty. Why sadly? I never was into I I just was so bleh because everybody I know was all like, watch this cartoon. It's yeah, funny. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I'm like, I'm, a, I'm not a boy. <laughs> I'm a man. And but then it's, no, it's a good show. Yeah. The other day I, it, it popped on on the queue for Hulu. Hulu. And uh, I, was, I was like, oh, my God, it's Mad Max. <laughs> this is awesome. <laughs> so. Okay, you were saying. I'm sorry, I interrupted. <laughs> so they actually have the Mad Max on Hulu. No, the uh, Rick and Morty. Oh yeah, fun the Mad, of Mad Max. Max. Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah. That was I mean, really like, good. like the actual Mad Max movie. Guitar guy did it for me, man. He was just like awesome. Did you see here it was Joe Matei who did the voice for the guy with the t- the bucket over his head. Nice. Yeah. All right. Well, that was it. Uh, it's kind of been a short show, but we have Breezy's lines to finish. Yes, Ow. sir. <clears throat> so, uh, other than that, though, happy Halloween, everybody. All right, oh, happy oh, Halloween, man. Um, I think this will probably be the last episode before Halloween for the Halloween show. That's the big one we got going, where everyone is in this room, has been in it, including Frasley. So, all right. And maybe we can talk Cupcake into saying something. We tried. Were you, you were on. No, did you leave for uh, dinner? Because we were trying to convince her to say stuff. Were you there when it was still there? No, I wasn't. I was probably chumming. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, f- feeding time is feeding time, brother. But yeah, we we tried getting her unmuted, but she she didn't want anything to do with it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll try for it. 